let's go ahead and take a look at this arena and uh, is it pretty cool or what? I mean, this is probably looks wise one of my favorite arenas, maybe second to Pekka Playhouse. I'm a big fan of Pekka's Playhouse, but I don't know. This this is pretty cool. Now, again, it is called Frozen Peak and it is unlocked at 2300 cups and that lasts you all the way to arena 9 now which is legendary arena arena 9 will be a 3000 plus obviously but as far as the amount of trophies in between arenas this is definitely the biggest uh taking the cake with 700 cups between frozen peak and legendary arena it's really cool it has the uh the snow everywhere the flames look really cool on as a contrast to the uh, snow i'm just playing a friendly little match here by the way guys this is only sneak peek number one you know a few things that are coming in this update let me just run through what we already know and then stay tuned to my channel for the first possible news of next sneak peeks I will have those the second we're allowed to release them already playing the new build right now I can tell you there's a lot to look forward to uh, this is probably well not probably this is definitely the biggest update in terms of new content and cards in the game if you combine the two so anyway we have a new arena to Day. We know about the balance changes coming the 4th of July. We can only expect that the entire update will be also live the 4th of July. That's speculation there, but I imagine so. Why bring the balance changes separate from the rest of the content? We also know that there's tournaments coming. Now, I've done a video on balance changes with the Rum Ham. We really go in depth over a half an hour long discussing every balance change individually and how it will affect the meta strategy throughout all trophy ranges. So check that out in case you missed that one. I'll put that in the link below. Also, we know that tournaments are coming. So I did two videos on what we know so far about tournaments. Just to recap really shortly, we know that tournaments will be uh, in the same format as the one in Helsinki was, in case you guys missed that, which I don't imagine many of you did. But if you did, it's basically a, a time frame. It was 90-minute time frame where a bunch of people just basically battle against each other in a closed private uh, tournament. So they're battling against each other in a free-for-all type environment so you can back out. doesn't harm you. It's not a bracket setting by any stretch. You're just playing in a, in a system outside of the normal matchmaking where your cards are regulated. So this is something for the free-to-play players out there that is really going to allow you to have that, that mode to compete, that vehicle to compete where you know everybody's on the same level as far as the cards go. So that's going to be huge. Now, after those 90 minutes, the winner is awarded a huge prize uh, in, in the form of a tournament chest. So we'll find out more about what's inside those tournament chests uh, in just a bit. Uh, probably in the next few days, I will be covering more details as I'm allowed to share them on the tournament. So stay tuned for that as well. Stay tuned for new cards. And uh, today, you, you just experienced the new arena. I'm pretty pumped for this. And who's this Ash's handsome clown? You know what? It might be part of my 6%. For those of you who don't know from Clash of Clans, 6% of my viewership is female, so shout out to my 6% out there. That's probably who I'm playing right now. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this short episode for Sneak Peek 1. Stay tuned tomorrow, hopefully same time, same place. Oh, and in case you missed it there, I just showed TV Royale does still exist, guys. Don't worry about that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it as always, and as always, take care, guys.